Also in tonight's health alert, a rel relatively new kind of breast cancer radiation treatment. We take a closer look at something called AccuBoost, which claims to work with pinpoint accuracy. But how does it work and does it work? Here's Kimberly Richardson. I did all the crying before I got to the doctor's office so that by the time I get there, um, there's no more crying. But Isabel Alvarez still had plenty of questions after finding out she had breast cancer. It's a feeling like you can't get a hold of yourself, like you're not in control, you feel like you're falling off your feet. It was just so scary. She would go on to have a lumpectomy, undergo chemo, and is now here at the Farber Center for Radiation Oncology receiving a unique form of therapy called AccuBoost. It's the only place in New York City offering this kind of radiation treatment. Dr. Leonard Farber tells me this method works with pinpoint accuracy. The majority of the dose is distributed exactly where we want it to go to, and we can see where we want it to go to for the first time. Once Isabel is in place, technicians first take a picture of her left breast. This is where the tumor once was. Dr. Farber says this treatment works best on those diagnosed in the early stages of breast cancer. We deliver four separate beams, if you will. In that way, we're distributing the dose and sparing the tissue of the skin as much as possible. Okay, Isabel, here we go. Doctors monitor Isabel from here outside of the room. Halfway through, they readjust the machine, change the angle, take a second picture, and start the radiation. Isabel's treatment time today took a total of about 25 minutes, but that can vary from patient to patient. This is Isabel's fourth treatment. She has three more to go. Those tears, well, she tells me, They've now all dried up. I'm making plans for the future. And, uh, you know, prior to this, I was like, I, you know, I was in doubt. I was in doubt with everything. Um, but now I think I, there's, there's hope. There's hope. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. And we wish you good luck.